Uh, Boston, Massachusetts held Satan Fest over the weekend where they were super edgy and they protested the oppressive Christian regime here in America. Satan Con, excuse me, not Satan Fest. They were pro- they protested the, the oppressive Christian regime because we know Christians have so much power in America. <laughs> Is it like Comic Con where people dress up as It's Comic Con, but there's more virgins. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, so it's Satan Con. <laughs> um, because as we know, Christians just have so much power in this country. They have so much power and so much power that if you belong to a certain political group, political ideology that has radicalized you to the point you go in and massacre a bunch of Christian school children, the White House, the White House. Sorry, I just squ- sprayed the squirt bottle there on accident. The White House will come out and honor you and your group. That's how much power they have. So much, so much power from Christians in, in this country. It's out of control, right? Because, I mean, any time you, you make fun of a Christian pers- person on, on Twitter or Facebook, you get doxxed by 100 virgins, and they, they call your work and demand that you get fired for hate speech. That happens all the time, right? Except it doesn't. Go ahead and check out this video from SatanCon, this uh, lovely individual. Go ahead and play it. Was it. Tearing up a Bible. You're good. You can go ahead. <laughs> so edgy! Now, here's the thing on the Satanism stuff. A lot of this started in like the 80s and 90s where you had the Satanic Panic, which I will tell you did go too far. And I feel like it accidentally exposed that it wasn't as big of a problem as a lot of people thought it was and made people think, oh, well, maybe it's not that bad, so we can just let it fly. And now here we are where it's a real problem. Um, the Satanic Panic, I mean, that was essentially Marilyn Manson's responsible for Columbine. Dungeons and Dragons is going to make your kids worship the devil. Turns out it didn't make them worship the devil, just made them perpetual virgins. Um, you know, th- things along those lines. You had the, the West Memphis Three, who I often get confused with the uh, rap supergroup 3-6 Mafia. Not the same thing. Totally different things. Um, things along those lines. Now, I, the, the entire idea of the, the Church of Satan, essentially the goal behind it was to protest religious doctrines on courthouses and government buildings. So it was a First Amendment thing. They knew what they were doing, and they said, hey, if you're going to have the Ten Commandments out in front of your courthouse, you also have to have the Church of Satan's Baphomet, their demon, or whatever it is. And the judge ruled, yes, that is the case. It's the First Amendment. If you're going, Congress shall make no law respecting any one religion. That's the way it is. We can't put, you know, we can't pick and choose what parts of the First Amendment we want to enforce. That is the case. I don't think you should have anything like that in front of the courthouse, personally. You know, unfortunately, they found a loophole and they abused it. And now it's just turned into a bunch of edge lords doing crap like shredding the Bible to to cheers. You know. Maybe we should send uh, the Satan Con folks over with some of the, the, the teachers to Pakistan with the transgender youth. And instead of the Bible, they can just go into the middle of the towns and shred the Quran, And they can see what happens to them. We, we could see, yeah, that's a great idea. We'll send them over there. We'll pay for their, we'll pay for their trip with all the, the transgender teachers and everything. And instead of ripping up the... I mean, because if you look at it, I mean, you can complain about Christians in America all you want, but if you really look at atrocities going on around the world that are directly influenced by religions, Islam's kind of got a leg up on Christianity right now. I mean, they're throwing gay people off roofs. They're stoning women for showing their ankles. They'll chop people's heads off for, for, for teaching young girls how to read. There's a lot of atrocities... And this is not most... Not all Muslims, but not even most of them. There's a lot of atrocities though being committed in the name of radical islam that are not happening in the name of christianity so i mean if you really want to stick it to the religious zealots maybe you should go over to pakistan and or saudi arabia and just set a quran on fire or tear one up or or draw the prophet muhammad why don't you go do something like that over there you'd be sticking it to a way more oppressive oppressive regime excuse me than you would be here in america sticking it to christians oh you wouldn't do that because you're 
because you know what would happen to you. Because as much as you pretend to hate Christians and conservatives, you know at the end of the day we're going to say, yeah, that's in poor taste. It's probably a little bit offensive, but at the end of the day it didn't hurt anything, and you know their, their maker will sort them out at the end of the day. Islam, Middle East, doesn't fly that way. There's a reason that these super edgy atheists and Satanists and whatever only go after Christianity. There's a reason for it. There's a reason they don't go after the Muslims the same way they do the Christians. That's all I'll say. And I'm not saying that's the right way to go about things. I want to make that clear. All I'm saying is these people are all bark, no bite. They only push things to the degree they know won't get them physically injured. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you can actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for Brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.